Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Sim 17. A let's play. A let's play of Farming Sim 17. Welcome back to that. That's what this is. Oh boy, okay. Here we go. Uh, so, I am picking up straw. We're picking up straw. Um, I don't think I can hire a worker for this, which is fine. I, I should probably do some things myself, uh, which is which is good. That's what the game's about sometimes. But we do need to harvest some beets way down yonder. Um, in the middle of the field, see me working at the... Uh, that's a song. Uh, we need the beets so we can properly feed our pigs. I have recently found that pigs are kind of crazy. I started with like 10 on my uh, off video uh, gameplay, like my personal file, and I think last night, so that was like a few days ago, last night I had s like 90 something just by feeding them, never bought any more. It was insane. And then they sell for like $1,200 each. Okay, the other age old question is what should I do with the straw? If I had a hayloft, which is amazing, we could buy a hayloft. Uh, if you go here, 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 this is in my hay and straw video. Um, I show how to use this thing, but this thing's awesome because you can store loose hay and straw here. So I could... Can we, do we have anything to sell to get to 90,000? We do have a lot of soybeans and wheats. We could just sell some soybeans at the bakery and that would give us... If we sold all of them, we'd have 60,000. Hmm. <laughs> but then we wouldn't have soybeans. Or I can work on getting the uh, gold nuggets at some point. I think right now we need to we need to harvest beets. I think. Let's look at the pigs. How, what do they need? They have a little bit of everything because I bought that food. We have corn, right? We have corn. We just need beets, and then we have yeah canola. Oh, I could sell soybeans because we have canola for the pigs. Let's do it. Let's let's find our tipper and sell a whole bunch of soybeans. However, it's going to take a lot of loads, isn't it? Because I only have one small tipper. No, I have two. Okay. So we can do... Yeah, this will be great. This will be like 36,000 soybeans. Perfect. Oh, we're going to have so much money. And then we can almost buy our hayloft. I really want that hayloft. It is like quality of life. Amazing. It is... Like, you, you don't know how bad you need something sometimes until you have it and you realize that you needed it the whole time and the hayloft is something I wish I would have had for like the last four years of my life. It is... oh wait, I am really bad at math. I thought these hold, held a lot more. Um, so we might have to take two trips to the bakery, which is fine. Maybe. Where's the bakery? Okay, it's in town not too far away. We could pay, we could buy another tipper. How much are those? I know I check it every time. We could buy another one of these. 15,000. What do I have? I have this little guy and oh I have the two little guys. Okay. That makes sense. So I could sell some soybeans and then buy that but that's going to eat into our hayloft profits. I really don't want that. But we are going to be selling sugar beets. So we're not going to keep all our sugar beets because we don't need to keep them. Um, pigs take very little root crop. I think it's like 5% of their diet is going to be beets or potatoes. Okay, well. I Okay, this is driving me crazy about this game. The great demands just feel really bad. Like, this is a great demand. Or I could sell it for you know, $300 more at a normal price somewhere else. And that happens all the time, which is probably like more accurate to life. But I really liked it when all of a sudden a great demand would happen and it would be like twice the price as, as it usually is. I don't see that much anymore. So, uh, you know, honestly, the, the, the good thing about that is that I don't hoard my crops for great demands. 
I used to just stock up and I would never like sell crops like I am now because I'd always have to wait for a great demand or else it felt like a waste. Now it's like, you know, if the, if the price is green, like this is still green, right? Yeah, if the price is green, then you're probably safe to sell it um, and you're usually okay. And I think it does actually encourage, at least me, my personal play style, it encourages me to uh, sell crops more often than I used to. So, you know, I like it for that reason. I don't like it because I used to make a lot more money, I felt like. But we're going to make some money here. I will tell you what. 18.2. And yes, I am... I will spend all of our money on a hayloft because it is the it is the greatest thing. So we just need 20, 30, 40 thousand. Oh my gosh, we need so much more money. Forty thousand dollars plus we have to rent a uh, beet. Uh, why can't I think? Har harvester, a beet harvester. We have to rent a beet harvester. I'm gonna go this way. For some reason, this way feels shorter, even though it's it's like equidistant, right? If not a little bit longer. Yeah, the only way to make this shorter would be if we had a, a hypotenuse path directly to our farm, which we do not. Um, you know what? I might as well just uh, skip ahead a little bit while I drive some soybeans around. Soybeans, soybeans. Soybeans, soybeans. Okay, one last load at the bakery. We should make around 32,000, maybe a hair over. Let's see, 33.8, I'm gonna guess, just for fun. I didn't actually do math. Come on, money. 15.6. Okay, so 32.7. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Oh, we're 9,000 away from a hayloft. Oh, I was going to start beet harvesting, but now I can't. Is there anything we can sell? Sell, baby, sell. No, 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 we can't do any of that. Can't have it. Oh, gosh. All shucks. You know what we could do? We could sell, 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 sell wheat. Look at all this wheat. We could take it to the right. No, we'd take it to Mer Oh, my gosh. We'd take it to Gomez. All these places are really far away. Where's Gomez Ridge? They're so. F they're all so far. Why can't it be like? What's that one super close to us? Uh, Gold Goldcrest. How much is it at Goldcrest? Eh, no, we'll take it to Gomez. But first, but first, we're gonna pick up the Halm Topper. Is that what it's called? Halm Top. No, whatever takes the top off the beets and potatoes. We're gonna rent that baby and pick it up from the shop. Uh, I know I'm going the wrong way. I don't know why I did that. Or we can just do that. No, let's do that now because then I can hire a worker to start removing the tops of the beets while I take my wheat to Gomez's place. And then we should, oops, I could drive on the right side. Why not? What is this, London? Uh, and then I should be able to afford the hayloft. Or we should be able to, right? I'll use the inclusive. The inclusive, uh, uh, the inclusive plural. There's my beautiful truck that just sits there. I don't need, why don't, why didn't I even park it? Like, do I not see lines? I mean, what is this disaster? Just because I have the prettiest truck in all the land doesn't mean I can just park like an animal. There we go. There we are. I feel much better about that decision. So if we lease a beet harvester, how much is this beast of a beet harvester? Fifty. Yeah, we could rent that, but we're not going to. Um, I don't know what this is. I've never used this. Anyway, uh, we need this and this. So this will be 1870 and then as long as we don't speed up time we should be fine and I doubt we're gonna operate it for more than an hour so 
We should be okay there. Let's pick this up and drive it back to the farm, and then we'll give it to the New Holland tractor that we have. Oh yeah, this one... I forgot this one doesn't have a front attachment. Which is fine. What I will do... Uh-oh. Plans are changing. What do I do? What do I do? Uh... You know what? Here's what I'll do. Let's reset this bad boy. No, I can't do that because it has something on it. So let's go put this away. So this is fully fertilized. I need to put all this away too. Uh, this is a good spot for stuff. It's right there. There. Now I can reset. There. Now we can get the home topper. Um, the reason... Okay, so... If you have a bigger tractor, you can put this on the front and this on the back. This is the harvester. This is just cuts the tops off. So you can do this process simultaneously. However, I found out the hard way with this starting New Holland, this like little tractor. Um, excuse me, sorry, sign. You cannot do that. It is a little too small, and I don't remember if it didn't. No, it didn't. Uh, it like wouldn't control or handle well enough for the worker to use it, and so I had to just do this one at a time, which is fine. Um, it would be really nice to get that million dollars and buy an awesome tractor, but we're not there yet. Hopefully soon I'll actually go collect all those. It's just like a really daunting task. Am I right? I mean, look at all of those. But it really doesn't take long. I get on my truck and just drive. It's, it's not too bad. I'll, I'll do it someday. But I think we can get these beets and wheat... Uh, these beets harvested and these wheats sold and get our hayloft. I really just want the hayloft. It's like my one goal in life at the moment. Farming sim life, not real life. My goal in real life is to get my tutorials done. Holy cow. It has been... It has been, let me tell you. But we're getting there, you know. We'll get there. We'll get them up. It's a beautiful day. Actually, it's not. It's partially cloudy, a little gloomy, um, but we can see the forecast will be sunny in a little bit. Alright. So this should be ready to cut the tops off. So if I push B, there we go. Alright, let's watch me for two hours while I finish this task. Just kidding. I'm not going to do this myself. We have Worker Willie for that. Alright, back to the silos for a round of wheats. See you back at the farm. Boy, oh boy. That is a drive, let me tell you. I wonder why I took the, sh the, the bucket shovel thing off my tractor. Who knows? Alright, so we're out of soybeans, which is fine. There's more where that came from. Uh, let's sell some wheat. We don't really need that much right now. We're not doing too much with animal husbandry at the moment. But I will say, getting this hayloft makes it so much easier to manage your animals. Just throw the straw in there. Throw the hay in there whenever you need to feed your cows or your uh, or bed your animals or feed your sheep. You just take it out. The only thing I wish it also had is grass storage because right now there's no way to store grass. So I just dump it in a big pile. But even piles are easy now because you have belts. I mean, it's it's just all a quality of life, like great, great stuff that they've um, added here. However, there are still some long journeys. This is cr I don't think I've ever been to Gomez, Gomez Ridge Acres. I have been everywhere else. No, that's not true. I've never been to Goldcrest Pacific Grain either. 
And I've not been to the spinnery yet because I'm trying to collect all the wool I can for my tutorial. Because um, in this game they let you do like multiple pallets. It doesn't just do one pallet of wool and then stop. And I'm trying to um, let it get to as many pallets as it can. But I've been dumb and haven't invested in more sheep. And so it's just taken a really long time. That's not why I haven't made the video yet. That's just kind of what I'm... That's just one thing I'm trying to wait for. Um, which is a, which is great. You don't have to like watch it so closely now and wait for one pallet to be done and then take it off and then put... You can just kind of let it go for longer and then remove, how, I don't know, four or six pallets, whatever it's going to end up being. Uh, so I'm really excited. I just need to go buy more sheep in my other playthrough. I also need to buy sheep and cows in this one, right? Don't I only have one of each? Yeah, this is dumb. Don't don't just buy one. <laughs> you might as well just buy two because then they actually reproduce. Um, I think when I bought those, I, I wasn't thinking about that because it was so new to me. But yeah, just buy two, and then from there they'll just multiply. Even if it does take a while, though, I do recommend buying as many as you can afford so they reproduce faster. When I had 90 sheep, I think they were reproducing one every hour. I mean, it was like out of hand, out of control. Uh, I couldn't keep up with the food and water and straw. What is... Th oh, gosh. Okay. I... Again, I've never been to, to this selling point, so I'm just a little... A little off there. Oh, that's cool. It's a little, like, house on the house up there. I don't know. What, what do you call that? A butte? No, it's not a butte. Hill? House on the hill? A little haunted house on the hill? Alright. Let's see if we can get enough for a hay loft. Oh, there's um a nugget. Oh, we can start unloading, I guess. Gomez Ridge Acres. Alright. There's a nugget back here. Uh, where would where that bad boy go? I'm like right on top of it if I go this way. There it is! Look at that! There's one down here. Well, 6,000. Oh gosh, I don't know if we're gonna do this. This is not nearly as good as the soybeans. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's one. Oh gosh, I don't wanna walk. That is farther away than I thought. I'll drive by it. Okay, everyone look away. I'm going to spend all of our money on a hayloft. E I don't know if I can do this. Oh, gosh. I spent all I have all this time to save up for a hayloft, and now I have $90,000, and it's like I could just dump it on the ground and just pick it up whenever I want it. Right? But the hayloft is so cool. But it's like, I can just put it on the ground. I could buy a belt. Like, I could buy a belt system, which is... 17,000. And be fine. Okay, there should be a golden nugget up here. They're behind rocks a lot. Yeah. They really like to put them behind rocks in this game. Oh, this is tough. Basically, what I'm thinking, uh, over there in that building where I put the uh, the weeder, there's like two big stalls. I could I could make that my grass and hay straw, or my hay and uh, wheat stalls. Or this one over here. Excuse me, worker Willie. Okay. Well, I think what I'm gonna do. Hmm. So we have three here. I need to just get that. I can make this like my grass hay stall. My grass hay straw stall. I, I did that in my other game down at the cows. I built one of these by my cows and just have a huge pile of straw, a huge pile of hay, a huge pile of grass. I could do that. And then when I need it, I just use a belt, a $17,000 belt system instead of a $90,000 hayloft. But the hayloft is so cool. Ugh, decisions. I tell you what. Hmm. 
Well, let's get back to the farm. And then we'll see if we can find a cool place for the hayloft. Okay. Here's what I've decided. <sighs> I'm going to just make a huge pile of straw. And I'm going to get the hayloft as, a re as, my, as my personal reward for collecting the nuggets. And that'll give me some motivation, even though a million dollars is also motivation. But I know now that when I get those golden nuggets, I am guaranteed a hayloft. That's what we're going to do. Because if I bought the hayloft, I wouldn't be able to afford a beet harvester. Because I would literally have a thousand dollars. Which is ridiculous. So I'll put a big pile of straw. I'll set up a simple $17,000 belt system. And then anytime I need straw, I can just drive under those belts. And, and it'll be really, really easy. Yeah, that's my decision. So... Um, we'll put straw right in the middle. Why not? Why not? And then someday we can transfer all this straw to the... Hayloft when we get it. Okay, I want to make sure I don't make too big of a mess. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. I mean, it's, it just kind of looks cool anyway, right? Like this. Oh, no, you're not done. There we go. Yeah, now we'll just put out some belts in front of it next time. No problem. Or we could just do that this time, couldn't we? I mean, it doesn't take that long. If we reset... This... Buy our belts. Um, this one we get to choose color, so we're going to make a cool... Uh, orange. Or should we do, like, straw colored? This is our straw. Nice yellow for straw. Yeah, let's do that. And then we need, I think, gosh, I don't even know if we even need this one. Oh, I can use this for, okay, well, let's just get this one for now. It might be good enough, it might not. It kind of depends what tipper we use. But I think since we have a small tipper, this will be fine. And then I can use... I kind of regretted resetting that tractor, but we need to bring back the beet harvester anyway. Uh, so we'll need that tractor for that. So it'll be fine. Uh, let's quickly take this to the farm. And then we can test a tipper and see if, if this is going to be tall enough. It is really nice to get back to the farm this quickly. That case tractor is really slow. Definitely something I'll upgrade when I get the gold nuggets. Hayloft and a new tractor. And if that's all I can afford, that's fine. Those will be huge improvements. Oops, sorry, sign. Okay, so yeah, this will be the last thing we do. Set up this little belt um, and see if we need the other piece that's a little taller. Hey, chickens. I probably have like 22 eggs there that I need to pick up. Okay, set this off here. Let's go pick up a tipper. No, these are pretty tall. I don't know. Not that it's a big deal if we need to get the other one. Uh, let's disconnect. I gotta say, I'm loving the belts. I actually use one in my other gameplay, other playthrough, like on my own, to clean the troughs, like the cleanliness factor. And I just leave one right by the troughs, and then when I need to, I can just enter it, drive around, pick it up, and then uh, dump it right back in. It works out pretty well. I'll probably show that on video once we get more into our cows and pigs and sheep. Okay, so all we gotta do is set this near. I wish there was like an un like a stop unload or a or like an empty button, um, but but there's not. So I don't think there's a way to raise and lower it. Only the uh, the hitch. Is that how you call it? All right. Let's see if this is large enough. It might be for this one. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect. That'll work for me. Okay. And then we can just use that same one for uh, hay and grass. 
So I'm just going to sell this because I don't want to pick it up. So we'll get like 10 bucks for this. <laughs> I was like completely joking, but I was not far off. We got $30. Okay, that's going to be a day. Next time we'll continue our beet harvesting down yonder and pick up the straw and probably start feeding our pigs and I don't know what else. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a very nice day.